Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Cornelius. About a year after Pope Saint Fabian's martyrdom, the Dacian persecution was sufficiently relaxed due to the emperor's absence from Rome, so that 16 bishops were able to assemble and elect Cornelius as pope. He reigned for two years and during this time he excommunicated the first anti-pope Novatian and his followers because of the excessively rigid stand which denied readmission under any condition to all who had apostatized under the strain of the persecution, no matter how sincere their repentance. This would have been placing a limit on God's mercy. We are told that at that time there were in Rome a limited number of clergy caring for some 50,000 Christians, among whom 1,500 minors were wholly dependent on charity. With the renewal of the persecution of 253, Saint Cornelius was exiled to Civitavecchia where he died either of exhaustion or decapitation.